It's not very often that you see budget Sony lenses pop up specifically for the L mount, and all budget Sony options normally need to be adapted from an EF mount or something similar. So when I saw that 7 Artisans had a series of new Sony lenses in the all new Spectrum lineup that are full frame and come with the L mount, I had to reach out and get my hands on one. And while I may be a little late to the scene on this one, I've actually been testing out their 35mm T2 in the sign-up on my S5 for the last few weeks, and I'm telling you now that this lens is definitely worth checking out. The Spectrum Cine lineup includes the 35mm T2 that I have, along with the 50mm T2 and an 85mm T2 as well. And the 35 retails for just around $419, which makes it extremely affordable and a great option for video shooters that are interested in proper Cine house lenses. And when I say proper, I definitely mean it. This lens doesn't feel cheap at all. It's got a full metal construction, a super smooth focus ring and a declicked aperture ring. Of course, we can't expect the image quality to be good as a Zeiss Supreme Prime, for example, but for around £400, you're definitely getting a lot of quality for the money. My initial thoughts after unboxing this lens was actually how premium it felt for the price tag, and shooting with it has definitely been a lot of fun. Something that I really love about the 35mm focal length on a full frame camera as well is how versatile it is, and I reckon I could do an entire shoot just with this one lens. What's even better is that if you utilize the APS-C crop that you get in 4K60 with the S5, then the 35mm focal length becomes equivalent to around the 50mm mark, making it a superb option for capturing details as well. And as you can also see from the sample footage, the results are stunning too. The sharpness is definitely more than adequate for video shooting, and I just absolutely love using this lens. If you haven't shot with the Cine House lens before, then you are truly missing out because the way that they're constructed really streamlines the whole video workflow, and having that nice long focus throw makes micro adjustments super easy to achieve. There are of course downsides to this lens, and that's of course to be expected from a lens that doesn't cost the world. For example, there is quite a bit of focus breathing when racking focus over a large distance, and the edges of the frame are a little bit soft at T2, but apart from that, everything else is pretty spot on for the price. I'm going to go ahead and say that this has been one of my favourite lenses that I've tried out so far this year, and if you do have a hankering for a new lens that won't leave your pockets hurting, but will give you some extremely pleasing results, and that will be a lot of fun to use, then I would 100% recommend this lens. I'm really hoping that I can also get my hands on the 50mm and the 85mm as well for testing on this channel, because if they're anything like the 35, then I'm sure they'll become a welcomed addition to my lens kit. So yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it somewhat useful, entertaining or interesting. And if you did, then please subscribe to the channel because I do make a lot of content here surrounding the Elmont ecosystem. So if that's your thing, then this channel will definitely be for you. So yeah, thanks again for watching and hopefully I shall see you in the next video.